Hey, welcome back, everybody. Look at this. Check it out. We're in the end. I have built an Enderman spawner slash trap slash place to get a bunch of experience and Ender pearls. And uh, this square here that you can see, uh, we're in creative mode. We'll, I'll go to uh, survival mode here pretty soon, but I wanted to show this to you first. This uh, square that you see here, that is 32 by 32 square, uh, or basically uh, four chunks, I think. Let's take a look here. Look at the map. Oh, and uh, in case you hear some noise, like pots and pans clanging around, my wife's working in the kitchen. I'm recording in the daytime. My son, Steven, is sitting here beside me, and he won't open his mouth and say anything. Can you say hi, please? Hi. There we go. He's telling everybody to be quiet. And, no, I don't want people to be quiet. So. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, this is uh, four chunks, two chunks square. So, uh, everything here except for this. For this raised lip area here with the creeper faces on it, that's those are solid full blocks. These are half slabs, and these are obviously half slabs, so nothing can spawn in here. Uh, the only thing that's going to spawn here in, anyway is Enderman. Uh, so we'll go up here, and I'll show you the spawning pads. And as you can see, I've got actually got uh, three rings here. The pressure pressure plates here. The, those are where the Endermen spawn. And uh, you can go to Etho's channel, and if I remember to do it, I'll put a link to his channel up here where you can see. His is much more elaborate than this, but after I go into survival mode and show you just how this thing works, it doesn't matter how elaborate it is. You get so many Endermen, it's not even funny anyway. So, uh, <clears throat> as you can see here, everything is covered with half slabs, so they're not going to spawn up here. Nothing's going to spawn except on these pressure plates and anytime anything does spawn on the pressure plates let's land here and I'll show you it's going to get pushed off right here Hup. see that so if I go up here and I'm going to use a normal mob for example a zombie pig man we'll put him up here and I'll show you exactly how this works. Now, he'll, his weight will be on the pressure pad, pressure plate, and it will power the piston behind this block here. So check this out. Oh, I'm in peaceful. <laughs> Let's get off of peaceful. Here we go. Let's just put it on easy for the moment. Hup. See it? Push him off. And, of course, they're going to just go down there and die. <coughs> That's a 42 block drop, by the way, so it'll kill anything pretty much but Enderman. Matter of fact, there's an Enderman down there. Where did he go? Oh, he spawned up here. <laughs> Way to go. Okay. So, <clears throat> as you can see, they fall from up there. Oh, there comes one right there. Boom. They survive. But if I go over here and I punch this guy, you'll notice he's got like half a heart of health. See there? And <clears throat> now I'm going to go into survival mode. And like said, here we go. Let's look to give these guys just a minute to build up and show you how it works. And I'm sure most of y'all have seen this anyway, how these things work. That leads back to the end, the mainland in the end. And here we go. Come on, guys. Let's see. Oh, oh, they're angry. They are angry. They're, they're following me, too. I don't have any armor on. I probably should have given myself armor because these guys will kill you really quick if you get in, in there with them. And you kind of have to for just a second. But... If you do it correctly, you'll be okay. You'll be walking around in a square here. Alright. 
Look at all the Endermen. There's so many of them, they're falling through, glitching through and dying. Alright, here we go. Let's start, start punching them. Punch, 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 punch. I'm gonna end up taking the sound down on this. This is rather loud. I'm not healing. Hang on, gotta eat. Okay. They're up there. You have to step down to make them come to come down and get you. So yeah, I think I've got. Did I leave this on easy or is it on hard? I normally play on hard. But that's it. That's how it works. And as, that's why I was saying, let's go back into creative mode so I can go up here without getting killed. Move, guys. That's why I was saying I don't think I'm even going to finish all the spawning pads up here because there are so many. Uh, I'm already getting spawn rates that are ridiculous. And I could probably get two, I know I could get two more, maybe more spawning pads up here. But yeah, this has been my project over the last couple of days. Now this I built, I built this in creative mode, but it wouldn't be that hard to build in survival. Uh, the biggest challenge would be getting enough iron to make all of those uh, pistons, but even that wouldn't be extremely hard. It just takes time. <clears throat> but I've always wanted to build something like this, and now I have. Uh oh. Oh, I was out here spleefing these guys earlier. If you can find it. Hang on. There. Ah! Nope, that's my wife. Yeah, that's when you cut the floor spleefing. That's when you cut the floor out from under somebody. It's a game you play in Minecraft. My wife didn't know, didn't know what spleefing is. She doesn't play online against other players, so she's never had a chance to play it. <laughs> but, anyway, I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to flip my camera around and say, they're staring at me. Anyway, I'm going to say bye, guys. Oops. I'm trying to wave at you, and I punched an Enderman. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, bye. We'll see you later.